2014's Gone Girl is a finely tuned piece of cinematic machinery. Gillian Flynn's screenplay is elegant as it is devastating. David Fincher's direction is calculating and slick, and the performances are incredibly effective. The film has been analyzed a hundred different times a hundred different ways. However, there is one aspect that viewers and critics surprisingly neglected, and that is Nick Dunn's secret. Secrets are a huge theme in Gone Girl. After all, the plot revolves around Amy's decision to run away from everything and keeping her plans confidential. Her journey is sparked by Nick's affair. These are the textual secrets. But what else are these people hiding? Throughout the film, it's hard to tell what Nick actually knows or doesn't. In fact, it's hard to pin down much of Nick's character at all. Look at how he's introduced through Amy's lens. What type are you? Corn-fed, salt-of-the-earth Missouri guy. Missouri? Mm -hmm. Cute. Hmm. Native New Yorker. World ends at the Hudson. What's your name? Amy. And you? Who are you? I'm the guy to save you from all this awesomeness. Look how Amy describes herself in the famous cool girl monologue. Nick loved a girl I was pretending to be. Cool girl. Men always use that, don't they, as their defining compliment. So if Amy is pretending to be this cool girl for the sake of their relationship, who is Nick pretending to be? I think I have the answer. A human being. And what is he in reality? Let's look at that first flashback again. Corn-fed, salt-of-the-earth Missouri guy. Missouri. What are the first words he uses to describe himself? Corn-fed. Corn-fed. That's important. Keep that in mind. Let's look at the scene where Nick is confronted by a woman who wants a photo op. I just wanted to introduce myself. My name's Shauna Kelly. I am so sorry for your troubles. Thank you, that's good. Are you remembering to eat? Well, a lot of cold cuts. I'm gonna fix you up my world-famous chicken Frito pie. That's very kind and very necessary. You have to keep your strength. Would you say chicken Frito pie? <laughs> um. You know what? I, I'm gonna. Would you delete that picture for me? Ah, it's a nice photo. I know it is, but it, just do me a favor, will you? Would you go ahead and please delete that picture? You just press me. What is wrong with you? Could you please not share that with I me? I will share it with whomever I please. Clearly, he's aggravated by the existence of this picture, which could prove detrimental to his image. But what if there's another layer here? What else does she say here that could have upset him so? I'm gonna fix you up, my world famous chicken Frito pie. Say chicken Frito pie. He could also have been upset by the notion of cannibalism. Nick Dunn is a Frito. What is the first item of junk food that Amy eats on her trek to her new life? Well, in the script, it's actually chili Fritos. These Fritos make a more pronounced appearance in the film when Amy eats them while watching a news special highlighting Nick's damaged reputation. This is an epidemic. The third leading cause of death among pregnant women is homicide committed by a boyfriend or husband. Let's not forget about the wife. Amy is eating away at Nick's life. 